Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to bring you guys a everyday makeup routine. I know I have one on my channel, but it was posted a year ago. It's pretty simple. This is the makeup I usually wear to work. So for those of you who have to go to work, you guys should definitely do this look because it's quick and it's very pretty. Like you, it looks like you actually tried. It's not quick at all, but it's very simple, I guess you can say. Today in my video, I'm actually gonna be using the Eyeless.ie collaboration with ColourPop. So you guys can see how this one looks. This is a lip gloss in Kirby. And I also have, um, the matte lipstick but i'm going to be showing that in a different video i know i've been gone for a while um i actually took a break from youtube i had two jobs at one point and i was going to school full time so i really had no time to film so now that i have a set schedule i only have one job now and i'm going to school hopefully i get back into my youtube grind and i can post at least once once a week that's my plan to post once a week so if you like what you see and you like this glowy everyday look please keep on watching if this emoji scares you, please exit my video right now. I look exactly like it, so I don't want anyone to have nightmares. Okay, bye guys. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. So as you guys can see, I have my eyebrows on. I look like Chewbacca. I hate how my eyebrows look when I have no makeup on. I just look ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I applied on my face. First, I used the Professional Primer, and I just applied it like around my nose area and my cheeks. And then I went in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I just applied that everywhere. And the last step, I used the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with cucumber, green tea, and olive. And I just went ahead and sprayed that all over my face. So for my everyday makeup routine, I know I had one posted like a year ago, but this is my updated one. It's very similar, but some things have changed. Okay, so for my face, I used the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And I mixed two. I used the 228 and the 220. I just mixed these two because I got a little bit tan when I went to the beach. And... I bought this one because this one was too light, but this one's still too dark, so I mix them together. Ow, ow, ow. I crushed my fingers. <laughs> I can't see you do that. Leave to that. Leave to that. I just get a good tiny draw because I'm not that tan, you know? <laughs> That's it. Now that I've mixed my foundations, I'm going to go ahead and dot it all over my face. I'll explain this in a little bit. I don't even know if I should be putting makeup on it, but... I have to go to work. I can't be going out like this. I'll get fired. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe 439 brush to buff in the foundation. Okay, so let me explain to you guys what happened to my eye. Or like the side of my eye. I had a dream that I was on a treehouse and I fell and I scraped my face. And it was hurting so bad in my dream. Like in my dream, it was stinging. And I was like, what the heck? So I woke up from my dream because I didn't want to be dreaming that anymore. So I woke up. And when I woke up, it was still hurting, and I was like, I was like, what's going on? And then I looked in the mirror, and I had this. And what happened is that I slept on my charger, you know the side where you connect your phone from, like the little side? I slept on that for maybe hours, and this happened. So, I don't think that's good. It probably got infected. It's probably infected right now. Wow, I look orange. So, I thought I looked, I thought I was tan, and I just put this foundation on, and I look a little too tan. But we're going to tone it down with um, some concealer. Don't worry, guys. So I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender now and make sure everything's smooth. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. And I don't really apply a lot. Well, maybe to you guys it might be a lot, but I don't think it's a lot. I just use whatever's on the applicator. I don't dip it in twice. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and go ahead and blend away. Look at the mirror quick and I'm not sure if you like that, how your hair is. This is fresh up the shower hair. Very frizzy. Just gonna try to put it back. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with my RCMA powder. So obviously you guys can tell now that this foundation is like matching my skin tone a little bit better. 
at first it was looking a little bit ridiculous but once you set once you add concealer it tones down a bit so keep that in mind when you're buying the foundation so now that i've set my face i'm going to go into bronzing and today i'm going to be using the hula benefit bronzer and i'm also going to be taking my real techniques contour brush I'm also going to bronze up my forehead and my chin area and I'm also going to contour my nose. To contour my nose, I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics 129 brush. And now to clean up my nose contour, I like baking it, but I'm not going to be using my RCMA powder for this. I'm actually going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And the reason why is because I feel like this powder is very mattifying. So when I use it, I really don't get oily. Then I put a little dot on the tip of my nose. And a line. That's pretty much how I clean up my nose contour, but it's not perfect. You guys do not have to follow these steps. While I let that set and, you know, just bake for a little bit, I'm going to apply some blush. And today I'm going to be using my Morphe 9N, my Morphe 9N palette. See the heart? <laughs> yeah. Josh drew that. He, like, draws on my makeup and I don't appreciate it. I'm going to be taking this blush right here and this one. So for my blush, I like blending my blush into my bronzer so the bronzer looks a little bit more natural. And you look a little bit more sun-kissed. So as you guys can see, I'm going pretty far back, like hitting the bronzer area. Now we can go ahead and dust off that baking. So now, um, next step, I do set my face before I apply eyeshadow. And that's because I've noticed that when I have my eyeshadow on and I spray my entire face and my eyeshadow gets wet, it gets really creasy. If that's a word like it starts creasing up and the eyeshadow starts moving around and I really don't like that so I set my face before my eyeshadow oh by the way I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray so next step I'm gonna highlight my face and I'm gonna be using the Tardius Pro Glow so for today's highlight I'm gonna be mixing Lit, Fire, and Stunner they're so bomb they work so good my only like complaint about it I guess is is that they're very powdery as you guys I don't know if you guys can see like all the powder on there yeah but yeah that's probably the only thing I don't like about this is that they're very powdery but other than that the pigment and everything else is so nice so I'm gonna go in with lit then fire and highlight my cheekbones Oh, by the way, I'm using the Morphe M510. So the last highlight I'm going to be applying is Stunner. And it's this one right here. And Stunner is actually the only one that I apply on my nose. Oh my god, my baby hairs are out of control. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend out this highlight with the brush. So the face part is practically done. Um, now I'm going to go in with my eyes. And for my eyes, for the crease, I actually use the NYX Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And it looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe M518 and apply this all over my crease. I'm going to go ahead and use my Too Faced palette and the only eyeshadow I'm going to be using from this palette today 
is Summer Yum. As you guys can tell, I love that eyeshadow. It really goes good with every look. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe M433 palette and get some of this Summer Yum eyeshadow. I'm going to apply it over the bronzer, but not as high as I did it previously. I'm just going to go a little bit lower to add some definition. I'm going to go ahead and take my Urban Decay Double Ender Brush and take the end of the brush and apply Summer Yum on my bottom lash line to smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take the shade Nectar in the Too Faced Peach Palette and apply that in my inner corner with the same brush. I'm going to apply the same shade I applied in my inner corner on my brow bone to give it a little bit of highlight. Anyways, for today's look, for this everyday look, even though you don't have to wear lashes every day, I'm going to be using the brand Kiss in the style Posey. I think that's how you say it. I really like these lashes because they just really flatter the shape of my eye. If you guys are looking to buy these, I bought these at my local Walgreens, so you guys can go ahead and check out your local Walgreens. But I'm going to go ahead and cut mine because if you guys do not cut your lashes to the shape of your eye, they're going to be bugging you all day. So now to cover up the lash band, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Colorstay Skinny Liquid, Liquid Liner. This is not the best liner out there, but I haven't found a better one, so I'm just going to keep using this one. And I'm going to do a very thin line. I'm not going to wing out my liner. I'm just going to cover the lash band. So for my lips today, I'm going to go in with this Milani lipstick in um, Bahama Beige. This is the first shade I'm going to be applying on my lips. And after that, I'm going to top it off with some lip gloss. And today, I'm going to be using I Love Sada East collaboration with ColourPop. And this is her Ultra Glossy Lip in Curvy. And I'm just going to be applying that over the Milani lipstick. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to keep seeing more videos, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And also, before I forget, I am going to start filming more, hopefully, now that I have a set schedule, like I said before. So please follow me on my social media. I'm going to have my Twitter and my Instagram down below, also my Snapchat. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, that's where I have my polls done. And that's where I just pretty much say the next videos I want to film. But I don't know which one you guys want to see first. And yeah, you guys can just help me out with that because I always have a hard time picking a video to film. Um, I do want to start vlogging because I'm going to go on vacations this summer. I'm only going to Mexico and to Havasu with my friends, but I do kind of go out a lot with my friends and my boyfriend, so I want to like vlog that and, you know, just share my life with you guys a little bit more. So if you guys would like to see more vlogs and all that stuff, please stay tuned to my channel because I'm for sure going to be uploading more of that kind of stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys!